is so nice. What's your name? Splash. It likely won't come as a surprise to any dog owner, but a new study by the University of Alberta and the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology suggests dogs just might help us humans get along better. According to the research, people are more trusting of strangers accompanied by dogs and more likely to strike up a conversation. When it comes to perceptions of dogs, however, not all breeds are equal. In a survey of 295 people, shown pictures of four different breeds, 55% said the Bernese Mountain Dog would make the best companion animal, whereas the Doberman Pinscher scored only 9%. Galen Fasenko, a professor in the U of A's Faculty of Agricultural Life and Environmental Sciences, says she hopes her research will lead to a better understanding of the role dogs play in our social lives. Dogs do act as a social bridge between strangers. Kyber? That's a very interesting name. They provide sort of an icebreaker, if you will. There seems to be a real dichotomy in our society. On the one hand, Companion animals have such a, are playing such a huge role in our personal lives for the individual, but yet in society we seem to be moving away from accepting dogs in public places. And um, on a proportionate basis, um, dogs and cats, the population of dogs and cats, is increasing at a higher rate than the human population. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to learn to get along with each other and figure out, uh, you know, some of these reasons why dogs may not be as accepted in public places by certain people and uh, do some education. Part of that education, says Fasenko, involves urging people to choose their dogs more carefully. We want to make sure that people are responsible as far as um, taking good care of their animals and choosing the right breed based not on looks necessarily, but on, um, on what, they can, what they're able to provide those animals.